Hi, I am Keith Russell Lee. Let me say God day. Uh, this is a wonderful day. Welcome to YouTube Live, and I'm always excited about doing these things live. Now, today I'm excited about this lesson. Actually, it's continuing uh, where I talked about taking action and the law of demonstration. And this is this is from my book, The 14 Principles, my signature book, The 14 Principles to Power, Faith and Living, a spiritual guide uh, to creating an extraordinary life. Now, I want to continue talking about the importance of why it's important for us to take action. And let me share by way of introduction, if you're just viewing, I'm Keith Russell Lee. I'm Senior Minister and Spiritual Director of the Destiny, uh, the Destiny Spiritual Center. I'm also a best-selling author, and I'm also a business leader. And it's important for us to be able to take action in our lives. There are so many people that I know that just simply, you know, we talk a good game, but we never get off of the sidelines. Let me share this. Jesus shared that I've come that you might have life and have life abundantly. Life is Zoe in the Greek. It's a life that is enriched, fulfilled, meaningful and purposeful with resources. But life is not for the pedestrian. Life is not for the person that stands by on the sidelines and, 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 and watches the proverbial prey goes by. It is for the person who takes the spiritual laws and these resources and the tools, and they create a life that is psyched, jazzed, and juiced. Matter of fact, um, that word life in the Greek is translated as a God kind of life, as some people have shared. And that's the kind of life that God wants you to live. But you've got to take action. And I want to right now talk to you, you, yes, you, that it's about time for you to move out of your comfort zones and to start to demonstrate these laws and these principles. Well, there's three things that I want to talk about today about the law of demonstration and the importance of us demonstrating. And the first one is taking action is an act of faith. We talk about faith all of the time. We know that it's even impossible to please God. Hebrews 11 says that it's impossible to please God without faith. Because faith is when we trust and we are certain and we are sure of our God. We're sure of these principles and these resources and we operate in them. See, folks, really, I believe at best that if I truly believe, if I truly have faith, then I'm going to operate. I'm going to demonstrate within these teachings. I'm going to demonstrate these principles. I am going to take action. That's if I truly believe. Faith is really all about action. Faith is about moving forward. Faith is about being bold and audacious. It's about actually taking what you hear and applying it and moving forth on that. You know, it's just like with the story of Abraham. In the Old Testament, Abram at the time was, uh, you know, a wealthy man. He was doing really well. But God spoke to him and he said, you know, Abram, uh, get your family and get your cattle and all of the resources that I have blessed you with and go to a land I'm going to show you. Abraham, interestingly enough, the reason why they call him the father of the faith is because he just got up, took everything with him and continue to move forward in terms of going to a place where he did not even know where he was going. He took action, though. He stepped out in faith. And what am I sharing with you folks? It's important for you to start demonstrating. Well, I don't know all of these principles. Well, what do you know? Uh, you know, if, if, if you've got a vision, if you've got something that's speaking to your heart, uh, you've, you've got the books. You, 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 you've been able to get the downloads. Now it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to take action. So taking action is an act of faith. The second thing that I want to be able to share today about taking action, the law of demonstration, is that when one takes action, it is God. 
And what I mean, it is God. It is God that is operating in us and through us, even as us. It becomes God in action. When I step out in faith, taking action as an act of my faith, and I begin to walk in it, it is God in me that takes charge. It is the spirit. That is what I talk about in the in the book, The Destiny System, A Spiritual Guide to Creating the Life that You Desire and Deserve. I talk about being in the zone. And when you are in that zone, I'm telling you, it is, I mean, you know, uh, you, you are really like the observer. You are watching yourself doing it and, and you are the observer. But what's happening? It is the God in you that has taken charge and that is operating in your life. And so we've got to be able to understand that it is the God in you that takes charge when you begin to take action in your life. So a lot of people will oftentimes say, well, I don't have the resources. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't have everything that I need. And I've discovered this even in my life, that once I began to start getting things in motion, the spirit took over. And I mean, I, my, my clarity of mind came in. Uh, I was able to know what to do at the right time to be able to do it. I, I thought clearly because what? It is the spirit of God that began to operate within. So, again, taking action, the law of demonstration is about number one. Taking action is an act of faith. Number one. Number two, that when one takes action, it is God. And the third thing that I want to talk about today is that our ego disrupts the flow of the spirit and causes inactivity. The ego, the ego, what is the ego? The ego I'm talking about is the self-manufactured notion and idea of God, of ourselves rather. It is that which is the antithesis of God. It's the antithesis of the spirit. We have this uh, this grand idea of who we are and, and, and who I am and what I've accomplished and what I have achieved. And, 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 and we stay there in terms of what is possible through my own power, my own might, my own capacity of thinking. And that disrupts the flow of the spirit. Because when I'm operating in spirit, I'm operating beyond myself, the ego, but in my true spiritual nature, which is divine, which is God. See, the number one struggle that we have, and really the only struggle that we have within life, is the struggle between the ego or flesh and spirit. And once I'm able to overcome that notion of who I am and that feeling good about who I am, but understanding that I'm a spiritual being created and made in the likeness and in the image of God. And I allow that to surmount and overcome the idea of the ego. Then I'm able to operate in the flow of the spirit. See, it's the ego that disrupts the flow of the spirit. Because we, we 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 start to try to figure it out analytically. We try to fig, figure it out based upon our own um, knowledge, our own level of understanding. Uh, and, and, and so we stay there as opposed to allowing the spirit of God to just get us into that flow. And as I share, get into that zone. So we've got to understand that the ego disrupts the flow of the spirit. And we must remain, therefore, in the spirit. In closing, folks, let me just share this. Take action. Get off the sideline. And let me share. Just don't take action. Be bold and audacious about it. Move in faith and power of knowing that you have the full force of God in the universe behind you. And if God before you, he is more than the world against you. Move in the fullness of all that you have been made to be. Now, I want to share this in these last 30 minutes that I have, 30 seconds that I have. I want you to go to my website and I want you to go get my series. These are three books. Number one, my latest book, The Destiny System, A Spiritual Guide to Create the Life You Desire and Deserve. My signature book, The 14 Principles to Destiny, the Power, Faith, and Living. It is a spiritual guide to creating an extraordinary life. And then my memoir which tells you how I've applied these things and have been successful in applying these principles. Folks, I want to sow these into your life as you sow a seed 
into your life, a seed of $50 or more, go to my website, krlm.org, and I want to sow these resources in your life. And I can guarantee you that once you begin to read these and study these and apply these principles in your life and take action, your life is going to never be the same. You're going to go to heights and 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 and, and operate on levels you never even dreamt that was possible. Go to the website, order the books. If you give a seed of fifty dollars or more, and just go ahead and put that, you know, and let them know that I'm planting a seed, I'm going to send you these three copies of my book. All right, so go ahead and do that. And share this video with somebody. Give me some thumbs up if this has been a blessing to you. And until next time, live with faith and power and continue to create that phenomenal life. I am Keith Russell Lee.